Hello again, gang. Welcome here if you've never been here before, and welcome back if you have. Today we are making a delightful grain-free concoction called Ungranola. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of Ungranola. Basically, it is just like granola except it is grain-free. In that way, it eliminates extra water retention from grains or any inflammation. A lot of times, people experience symptoms similar to a gluten sensitivity, but it's just because their body isn't a fan of grains either. So this is an excellent way to cut out more of the carbs you're ingesting. This is very low carb. This is higher in protein because of the nuts involved in it. If you are allergic to nuts, you can use use seeds and coconut flakes this is good for anyone the version I'm using today does contain nuts though so keep that in mind and it's also customizable as you will see in this video so without any further ado let's go here are all of the ingredients we have one cup of chopped almonds one cup of raw pumpkin seeds one cup of sliced cashews. They say chopped cashews, but I could only find the halved ones, which is fine. I can chop them up more in my blender if I want. One cup of coconut flakes unsweetened. One tablespoon of chia, along with two tablespoons of ground flaxseed. One tablespoon of stevia powder. Three tablespoons of unsalted butter. You could also use ghee or clarified butter. And then the spice blend. This spice blend is made up of one teaspoon of cinnamon, one half teaspoon of nutmeg, one half teaspoon of allspice. However, I used cumin. Cumin has some awesome fat burning and health benefits, which I will put in now. And that really is all of the ingredients for the basic ungranola. And remember that you can be creative. You can use dried fruit, use raisins, dried cranberries, use sunflower seeds. You can put whatever you would like in here. Everything in this room is eatable. Even I'm eatable. But that is called cannibalism and is in fact frowned upon in most societies. This is just the bare bones basics. Once you have all of your ingredients assembled, you wanna line a baking sheet with parchment paper, and then we're just going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees on bake. <laughs> All right, there are two more minutes to go, but they lie. this smells like it's burning. Looks kind of burnt. Let's see here. All right, so it's not totally burnt. It's all right. It doesn't look that bad. Keep telling yourself that, darling. I'm going to let that cool first, and then I will break it all up. Okay, so yeah, slightly burnt. Wow, that just tastes like burnt charcoal. <laughs> Right. Like we got some dark bits. Like I got barbecue in my mouth. But for $13, this is a heck ton of ungranola. Really, it is. You can buy a pack that would be literally the package contains about that much and it's eight to ten dollars. Not kidding. Yeah, like that. And that's even being generous. Frugal. Avoiding unnecessary expenditure either of money or of anything else. So this is quite a bit for 13 bucks. Again, this said 25 minutes. Do not leave that in there for 25 minutes. I do have an oven that I think is hotter than most, but I mean, it's okay. Like this is probably the most burnt that pieces of it got. I'm still gonna eat it with berries and yogurt and banana and nut butter 
and it's gonna be bomb. All right, here is the finished product. This is the baked ungranola. It also looks delicious. It smells delicious. I've tried it, it tastes absolutely delicious. I would recommend if your oven happens to be warmer than most, only leave it in for about 10 minutes, then check on it. I would say 15 minutes max, but as you can see, it's not that burnt. It's got some burnt pieces. I think mostly the coconut flakes are what kind of got a little crispy. Did you say extra crispy recipe? but it is yum 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 it made about four cups in total exactly the amount of these two containers as you can see i have repurposed my bath and body works candle holders if you want to see how i've done that go ahead and comment below or send me a message and i would be happy to let you know i keep many things in these containers we've got granola bars over there a lot of my pantry items are kept in those containers we have got cacao powder stevia powder, flaxseed, all of the Bath and Body Works containers because you know what? Why would you get rid of those? It's so easy to repurpose them. It takes literally less than five minutes. But anyhow, that's that. These are gonna go up here with the rest of some of my dry goods. Oh, see, there's another one, cacao nibs. I keep Q-tips in them, you name it. Anyhow, boom, and can't wait to use it. Way more cost effective, and that's how we did it. And there you have it. We are done, we are all cleaned up like nothing ever happened. It was delicious. I've already had some, couldn't help myself, so good. If you thought this video was helpful, informative, or entertaining at all, please give it a thumbs up for me down below. That really does help support my channel. Please do subscribe to this channel because aside from easy recipe videos like this, the videos on this channel can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. So do check those out. And please, if you would like notifications of the next time I post a new video, hit that little bell notification icon down there and you will be notified each time a new video is posted. Keep in mind, there are some pretty serious giveaways coming up. At 1,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a completely individualized nutritional assessment and program. So an entire package tailored to you as an individual and how your body metabolizes foods on a biochemical level. That's pretty serious. Let's make weight loss easy and effortlessly maintain. Until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun trying this recipe and customizing it to your own tastes and favorites. And I'll see you next time. Bye.